What is going on everyone? It is Brad or Demon Asylum here. I'm bringing you all a new Fallout 4 video. Gonna be giving you guys a live commentary step-by-step -step guide here on how to do the new vendor glitch after patch. Yes, there is a new vendor glitch after patch that is working. Really excited to show you guys. I know it's something that many of you have been wanting since the patch came out and got rid of the first one. So if you guys could take a second real quick and drop a like on the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, I would very much appreciate it. You can do this glitch with any vendor in the game just like the previous one and it's actually easier than the previous glitch in my opinion if you're someone who is just wanting caps this is not going to be the glitch for you there is way easier methods and glitches i have on my channel working after patch that will get you literally millions of caps if that's what you're looking for this glitch is going to be the same as the one before it allowing you to get any items very easily and conveniently and for free from any vendors so if you're someone who wants to be able to very early in the game get items very easily and completely free this is for you if you're someone who doesn't want to spend literally the 5, 10, 15,000 caps for every single legendary item a vendor sells, this is also going to be for you, that sort of stuff. So what you're going to want to do is once you're in this screen for trading with the NPC you want to do this glitch with, you're going to want to put one item up for trade that is of the least amount of value or that is just completely meaningless to you. In this case, I'm going to use 1308 ammo. If I wanted to, I could use this Abroxo cleaner, for instance. It doesn't matter what item you use, just for your own convenience, put up the item that is of the the least meaning to you or the least value. Now, once you have an item over on their side of the screen that you put up for trade, go ahead and find out what item or stack of items you want to get back for free. You do need to do each item or stack of items one at a time, just like or, or unlike the original glitch, you can't do everything at once and take it all in one, you know, swift trade. You have to do one thing at a time, unfortunately. But let's just say that you want to get the big boy because it's the most expensive thing that he sells, near 14,000 caps. As you can see, I have zero caps at the moment. What you're going to want to do is hover over this item and press two buttons basically at the same time. If you're on Xbox One, those two buttons are going to be X and A, and if you're on PlayStation, those two buttons are going to be Square and X. Now, if you try to press them both at the same time and it doesn't work, if you're on Xbox, try hitting X a little bit before you hit A, and if you're on PlayStation, try hitting Square a little bit before you hit X, but still, basically press them both at the same time. There should only be like a millisecond difference between the two buttons if you don't hit them exactly at the same time. So let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, as you can see, it did not work, and the way we know it didn't work is because the big boy did not transfer over to my inventory. There we go, now you can see that it did work. The big boy is now on my side of the inventory screen for the trade, and it popped up with a trade confirmation screen, so just go ahead, and if you see that on your own screen, that the item is on your side of the inventory, and also that you have this confirmation pop up, just go ahead and accept it, and then you will have the item you just did the glitch with. As you can see here, I now have the big boy. So let's go ahead and show you guys real quick how to do it with a stack of items, such as a full stack of ammo. Same thing as before, I'm going to give him one round to trade over so that I can do the glitch. And then we're going to go to his ammo. And let's say that I want to take all 135 of his 45 caliber rounds. You're going to want to click on them so that the quantity option comes up. And then what you're going to want to do from here is the same thing as before. Press those two buttons. If you're on Xbox One, it is X and A. And if you're on PlayStation, it is Square and X. Now it's going to be a little bit reversed here. If you guys try pressing them both at the same time and it doesn't work, on Xbox, try hitting A like a millisecond before X. And if you're on PlayStation, try hitting X like a millisecond before Square. So let's go ahead and give this a try. As you can see, I did get a first try, and again, the way you know that it worked is because the rounds are now over on my side of the inventory for the trade, and we also have a confirmation that popped up. So there we go, we accepted the trade, and now we will have all of his rounds. I'm not sure how much I had to start with, but as you can see, I have a bunch more 45 rounds, as well as he doesn't have any of them. So that is how you do the glitch, guys. I'm going to point one thing out to you that I assume most other people who cover this probably won't just because they want to hype it up the most they possibly can. The only way this glitch is going to be effective is if you have no caps or if you have uh, basically near to no caps whatsoever. If you have 15,000 caps, for instance, and you go do the glitch with the big boy, which is 14.7k caps, it is going to take those caps from your inventory. Even if you do the glitch completely correctly, if you have 
have the amount of caps required to pay for whatever you're doing the glitch with, it is going to take your caps. So this is really only useful for if you don't have any caps in your inventory or if you just have a less amount than what all the items you want to glitch are worth. If you're someone who's playing legitimately other than maybe doing a glitch like this, it would work out really well. If you're looking for something that's super convenient early in the game for you to get any items you want, this is perfect for you. Or if there's a way for you to put caps out of your inventory, which I'm not sure if there is in this game, uh, such as transfer them to somewhere, then this will be perfect for that as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is not as ideal as the original glitch. It is just as convenient. The only thing that limits it compared to the original glitch is that this one is only really worth doing if you have zero caps or you just have a really small amount of caps. So that's going to be it though for this video guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them down below. I'll be happy to help in any way that I can and of course get back to you guys as soon as I can. And aside from that, I do hope you all have enjoyed. If so, feel free to drop a like on the video down below and subscribe for many more Fallout 4 videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone and peace out.